Today, we're gonna to tackle some common nutrition myths. My colleagues here at Huel HQ have come up with some nutrition myths that they've um, commonly heard, um, and they've written them down. They're on, on these cards here, and um, I haven't read them before, so I'm just gonna read them out and then talk about each one. Okay, the first one. Eating before bed will make you fat. Okay, I can see where that one comes from. Your metabolic rate does change throughout the day. In the morning, it's uh, a lot faster, and in the evening, it's a lot slower. So ideally, um, you, you want to be spreading your food throughout the day. Um, don't eat too late at night, but there's no, none of this you mustn't eat um, past 7 p.m. Well, because we all go to bed at different times, so I don't see how that, that one rule can, can fit everyone. So, uh, um, and also, it's not good to have food last thing at night when you're, you're lying down um, horizontally. It doesn't help the digestion. So yeah, you won't make you fat if you eat too late, but try not to eat too much too late. What we got next? All vegans are malnourished. <clears throat> okay, let's um, give a definition of the word um, malnourished first. Malnutrition is, does not mean don't have enough food. That is undernourished. Malnourished means you haven't got adequate amounts of one or more of the nutrients. And there is a misconception that vegans are malnourished because they're not getting all the nutrients they need from different foods. That's not true. A vegan who eats a varied plant-based diet can, will get adequate of all nutrients. They haven't got to um, worry about the effects of phytic acid on, um, uh, on iron absorption, which I've discussed in an, uh, another video called Anti-Nutrients, um, because a plant-based diet is actually really high in iron and it's more than compensates for that. Also, um, vitamin C in a plant-based diet will help promote the iron absorption. The other um, nu um, nutrient that um, vegans often uh, are worried about not getting enough is protein. Um, but it's said that plant proteins aren't complete proteins. Well, to a degree they're not, but they do contain all the amino acids. And if you could put more than one protein source together, you will be getting plenty of all the essential amino acids. Should we have a look at the next one? Fat-free equals healthy. You see the term fat-free on food labels. I don't like that term. Fat-free doesn't mean healthy. We need a good intake of fat. Uh, unfortunately, we've got the legacy of um, bad nutrition guidelines from the 1970s still lurking about that says fat's bad. It's not. We need fat, just the right types of fat. Another one, carbs are bad. So we've just, um, you know, sometimes some people think fat's bad, other people think that carbs are bad. Well, carbs are not bad, um, providing you're getting good quality, fibrous, starchy carbs regularly throughout the day. Carbs like cereals and potatoes are great um, sources of energy. We, we don't need carbs to live, but they do provide uh, an excellent source of energy. Okay, if you have too many refined carbs and sugars, that's not good. You need to keep the sugar intake fairly low, but it's the starchy carbs um, that are more slowly um, digested and absorbed, give you that steady influx of energy and are, and are really useful. Dairy is the only way to get calcium. Dairy products like milk, cheese, are actually really rich sources of calcium and it is um, well absorbed from those. But also, there's a lot of plant foods that are rich in calcium. Seeds, nuts, even um, some of the green veg have, have a lot of calcium in it. Next one, what is a superfood? I don't like that term, it doesn't mean anything. So-called superfoods, things like goji berries and seed buckthorn extract and so-and-so does this, that and the other. You know, it doesn't really cut it with me. Um, there's a lot of claims made about certain foods. If you have good amounts of them, they'll do wonders for you. Okay, there are some, some good nutritions, but you'd have to eat an awful lot of them to get a good nutrition. To me, all food is super, just enjoy your food. Another one, salt is bad for you. Salt is not bad for you. Salt is sodium chloride. You need sodium and you need chloride. They're both essential electrolytes that we need in our diet. Um, you need a certain amount of sodium every day. The problem is most of us are having too much, so we're told to cut down. Um, so generally, um, some good advice is don't add salt to your food um, unless you really have to. You'll get enough sodium if you eat a varied diet with plenty of fruit, veg, starchy carbs, or, or even with some meat and animal products. 
Hope you've enjoyed uh, me um, tackling some of the nutrition myths today. I certainly have. Um, if you've got any um, nutrition questions or nutrition myths that you'd like me to talk about, why don't you post them um, below the video on YouTube or on our forum, which you can find on Huel.com.